out there first thing first. My name is Kenneth Murray. I'm the creator of a luminous 4K screen using ambient light rejection technology game. Just moving some of my stuff. Oh, that was really expensive. I hope I didn't break that. Ugh. Really hope I didn't damage this. My freaking Iron Man, uh, Mega Man, freaking, uh, whatchamacallit, I didn't damage. Okay, great. I took a hit. All right, let's go down the hallway. Anyway, let's go back to the... Uh, my name's Kenneth Bird. I'm a creative luminous 4K screen paint using ambient light rejection. We're going to paint in the... Uh, my name's Kenneth Bird. I'm a creative luminous 4K screen paint using ambient light rejection. We're going to paint in a giant screen today in the gaming room. And I got a story to tell you you're going to find quite fascinating while we're doing this. So, today, keep in mind, somebody with one of those Valva or Viva, whatever one they call those projectors, wanted to use our screen paint for the projector. Now, as I told you... We have this projector because I don't think the projector is 6,000 lumens. I think it's probably 25, probably less than that. So anyway, as I said before, we don't support projectors that are not listed on our website. We only support name brands only. And I've done enough video demonstrations on these particular knockoff projectors to tell people to stay away from them. If you buy them, we don't support them. All right, so, uh, fellow yesterday, well, a couple days ago, as I said before, may or may not give it a chance if it does it and it did and it didn't work because it's a knockoff we don't support them this is the reason why we don't support these projectors because their specifications are always fake let me go in and grab some video so i can put video content on this i don't even know where the control is at in this mess where's the controller okay it controls way over here and all this mess all right so i just got to pull up any kind of video with fish or something so I can get a tracing. So what we're going to do right now is I have the projector on. We're going to throw in any video. We just need a trace. I did in the, uh, in the, um, whatchamacallit, in the uh, blah, 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 in the, uh, in the bedroom. So we're just going to trace out some fish. I just need an aquarium. Aquariums, the reason why I do aquariums is because aquariums are out of time. All right. So right now we have to make a painter's box. And the painter box is a great way if you don't have any form of, uh, you don't have a painter's box, it's a great way to make your own painter's box. Put your tape in, you put your paint in. Just gonna tape this up real quick. I to pick out paint pans, but then again, I don't need one. So I'm just gonna turn around and make it myself. Sides. Painter pan, just put some cardboard, and that's it. There we go. It's a painter pan right here. Just make your own painter pan. The paint that was seeped on my floor, there corners inside. Can't you just tear off normally? Get the corners over here. I'll show you the inside when I'm done. Don't have a paint pan. This is the best way to do it. Any cardboard box will do it. I'm gonna get our corners really good. I'm actually painting the screen. There we go. Doesn't have to be pretty, just has to be efficient. So, tear this up a little bit here. I wonder how you, you can tear something off with tape. It just tears everything with it. All right, so this is a painter's pan. Right here. So if you don't have a paint pan, just make your own. Pretty easy to do. Just paste this tape around the box. We're just going to rip this out over here. Be pretty, just has to work. So, long story short, like I told him, it wasn't going to work because, like I said, we don't do knockoff projectors. You know, I had a huge conversation with the uh, fan page, I guess, CEO, whatever the heck the guy was, 
And he was, exp I was telling him, look, pixel shifting in this decade of time is not necessary to the fact that we have native 4K. So you really wouldn't need pixel shifting. I mean, if we didn't have 4K, yeah, you would need pixel shifting. But we have native 4K. So there's no excuse for a projector not to have 4K when we have the technology already available. So any projector that's using pixel shifting is a bunch of hoo-ha. And we don't support them. So that's all to it. And I doubt the projector is 6,000 lumens. That's virtually impossible. But that projector sits, what, about less than about a few inches on the screen? So that's another problem right there. That whole entire area would be illuminated. You're reusing 6,000 lumens. That's a lot of power. They look good on white screens. They look good on gray screens. But if you want true contrast, keep in mind, like I said, you can't use those projectors on black screens. Because the specifications are fake, which I find kind of interesting due to the fact that our screens were put on short dough projectors because we have quite a few in the shop. All right, so we got our painter pans made up. This is our painter pan right there. Easy paint pan that you can make, easy put together. If you don't have the paint pan, forget to pick one up. Just get a box, take the sides around, make sure you get in the corners because paint's going to seep through. Don't worry. And just leave this part open so you can take the roller and roll it in and out. And that's it. Easy paint pan. I made these because sometimes I would go to my friend's house to install their um, screens in and I forgot to bring a paint pan with me and I would just paint his pan or whatever you want to call it and I would forget to bring one in and I would just basically go in and uh, make my own out of a box or something like that. Alright, this time I remember to get plastic so I to use cardboard the last time. Woo, doggy, so we a big screen. So a big screen. Yes, it's going to be gone. All right, so what we're going to do is basically we're going to take our, I don't know why we need this, but just in case if I hit the wall, which I probably will, uh, we got to trace this out. So let me get this out of the way first. Let's get the chair first things first out of the way so we can start at the bottom. Make sure we don't get no painters cracked. No one needs that nightmare again. We got our frog tape. I like to use frog tape. This is my favorite. Always frog tape. I trust frog tape. I don't use anything else but frog tape. No, I'm not getting paid to say that. All right, so let's come over here and start from the bottom. Make sure I got my screen straight here. The last thing you want to do is take your screen in and it's crooked. That is going to suck. We did the same thing like we did the last one. We're going to do this with the Supreme 8. So we're going to do it. Let's start the bottom. Let's try to get in the way of the projector. I want to lean to the side a little. You might not be able to see me in the shot. I don't know if you can see it or not. But i got to lean a little bit to the side. I can't block the projector. And i got to be able to see the screen at the same time. There we go. Let's start the first one. Bring that across. I'm going to do mine a couple inches away because keep in mind I'm going to be changing the projectors out. I have the Sony over there. So I can go back to the Sony, switch back and forth. Which projector I'm going to use. Make sure I get this right. I'm a bit of a stickler when it comes to getting this nice. So you may see me remove the tape multiple times. I'm going to make sure that I get it nice and surface. Now over here, I'm going to have another problem because the screen disappeared because my body is in the way of the screen. So, take the tape out here. We've got to kind of uh, second guess it. Back a little bit. Stand back, see what we how we got it, how good we got it. That's a little hard to do at the bottom area because my body's blocking the uh, the um, the, the um, it's blocking the uh, the image. Let me come back in. Always, always come back in. I always put it back in again. Bring it back in. Bring it back in again because I just want to make sure I got it good. I got it nice and even. 
There we go. Let's see what that. I got. Look at the top half. It's hard to do. I don't know which one it is. One of them. All right, now we get the chair. We start climbing. So we'll start from here on this side. Now, the reason why I decided to paint the screen in instead of building it, because keep in mind, look at the small space I'm in. It's going to be very hard to build a frame and, and, and build it in this spot right here. So I'm just better off just painting it to the screen, painting it to the wall. Much easier. It's an odd color. I have holes on my socks. I probably did on here. Uh, I got samples of this paint. So I'm in the process of buying a house so we can just put everything back the way it is. I used to do that anyway. Let me turn to the side. I gotta get a little bit over here because uh, it's just too close over. There's gotta be a seat where I'm taping it. That's the hard part about taping this. You have to be able to see what you're doing. The hard part. Especially if you're back into a corner. That gets a little hard. Right. That's a little better. Just have to move my body over just a little bit. That's what I'm hitting. Right now, it's like my shadow is hitting right against the screen. At the same time, I'm trying to get as close as possible. Have a bit of patience for this one. And the easy part, sometimes tape can be a little crazy. Right, let's see what we got. So let me come out of here for just a minute. So I can get a shot of this. Let me see where I landed out of this. That all. Alright, cool. I think the top area is a little bit out on the top area. Bit. All right. That's better. That makes me happy. All right, so that's done. So I'm just trying to get to the top part. Just second guessing it right now. I'm kind of really second guessing on this one. So let me see where we're at right here. Get my body out of the way. All right, let me see what we got in here. So you got to kind of tape on the angle because since my screen's so big, I have to uh, kind of second guess where that line's going to be at. Really hard part. I'm kind of sneaking up on your screen. I can leave much of a little gap there so I can see exactly where the tape is going to hit and where I can start at. Okay, let me see. I'm going to it just a little bit. It's kind of like taping it, like being blind. It's like taping when you're, you're in blind sight because I kind of got a second guess where that tape is going to land. This is all being done blind sight because my body is physically blocking the screen, so I really can't see where it begins, where it ends. I'm just kind of second guessing this. There's enough time to get a little easier. All right, make sure we're not showing anything. So 
I got, I'm going to do a caution frame around this one. Kind of a gamer's caution frame. And I'm a little too up, too far up. I got to bring it in a little bit more. i come down some. Too close. Let's see if we got it there. All right. Back to the side a little bit. Because I got to move to the side because I have to see the line where the line hit. A hit or a miss. All right. I'm really scared to look at the top part of the tape. I hope I got it even. I really do. I'm a little bit afraid. bad at all. Alright, my wall curves a little bit there too, so that is not uh... so. Okay, it was Saturday morning, it was supposed to be spent with cartoons and cereal people. Cartoons and cereal. That's what Saturday morning was supposed to be. Cartoons and cereal. Uh, I get what I want. All right. Go back and look at that a little bit more. Okay. Everything nice. Now, do you want to put a little extra? See, the other one I was a little too close to a wall, so kind of worried about that one. Today. Actually, do wall to the ceiling, so well, I'm not too worried about this one too much. And I'm going to put like a nice thin frame. On. Pretty cool. So that's going to be the next one. Ugh. Make sure it's all smooth down. Nice. Just going to drop in some extra tape around the top just in case if I overstep and I miss, which you don't want that. Let me see. There's a pro tape up there. So we'll put some at the top, an extra band for the top, all the way across. Just in case if I roll and I miss. I lay out there like that so I can give a room. Step off. Remember that on Seinfeld. Tony! Great boy Tony. So I ordered my curtains for my movie screen downstairs. Can't wait to get started on that. That's my next project. All the curtains, 150 bucks. This time, when we move, which I'm not moving anytime soon, but when we move, I'll lose my curtains. All right. Alright. 
it on everything. Alright, so we'll start off here in the right direction. Okay. Whatever. There's no way in the world we could have did that much video that freaking fast. Where's my freaking... Did we even start at the very beginning? Let me see. No, no, no. Go back. Where are we at in this video? Somewhere in there. Alright, there we go. Let's go. We tape up our bottom area. Alright, get that out of the way. Let's tape this up. Tape it right to the border. If you drop any paint, it's just going to hit... We're good to go. I'm not on the floor, not on the ceiling, not anywhere else but where it's supposed to go. If nobody knows where it's supposed to go, but you know where it's supposed to go. Sorry, I'm tired, people. You can hear me ranting about the lot things that don't make any sense. Because I'm tired. Yes. Let's get our plastic out. That's Batman falling over and paint on some club. Alright. There we go. Easy and make cheesy. Now, there's a fun part. It's the fun part. Always the fun part. We got it up here. Fun part. Okay. Gotta have fun. All right. Uh, where the freaking my rollers? Okay, there you go, right there. Rollers doesn't make a difference. Any roller will work. And they tell me, oh, you gotta use this professional roller. You don't have to use any professional roller. Any roller will work. I'll buy rollers from Dollar Tree. Any roller will work. Now, if you're doing this on a plexiglass, um, pretty much you want to use it. I, I would spray plexiglass. I would not even bother. You can paint it. You can paint it. I might paint it with one of these rollers to make a difference whatsoever. It's all wrong. No, no. Just chill, dude. Just chill. All right. I don't think I need a chair for this one. All right. So, let's come over here and let's do... And the fishies, fishy, fishies. Let me see. It's gonna be a big freaking screen. Woo! I thought I had bigger than this. I had the biggest screen I think I've ever had was a 250. I had a 250. One house I had literally let me have a 250 inch screen. It was massive, my friend. Absolutely massive. Just trying to set the mood. What I want to paint over. Which one I'm the wall. Alright, let me do this one right here. Trying to set the mood, people. Here we go. I like this one. This is my favorite. And now, if you hear this horn going off in the back, I do apologize. That is my cell phone. Because the reason why I have a horn set up on there, because if that horn go off, I know where my cell phone's at. I think what off. I have an amplifier for that, an app amplifier for that horn. Yeah, man. When I was in this movie one time, it went off. It was a rude awakening. All right. So where is the screen paint? Okay, here we go. We're gonna use. Oh, shit. Oh. We're gonna use crystal edge. Shit. No, crystal edge. Way off. We're gonna use our Supreme Ambient Light Rejection Supreme Eight. Yes, yeah, I'm gonna paint the screen with this. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So Mr. Burr, can you please be more professional in your video? No. I'm having fun here. This is all about having fun. Come on, people. Get a little relax. All right, let's begin. Now what we're going to start off doing is we're going to start painting a pretty cloud. In this section, a pretty cloud, 
Maybe we'll have a couple of trees in the background and maybe a little blue river running through. Roll off. I like to get my edges. All right, that's it. I'm done. I'm going on break. I'll catch you guys in two hours. Just messing with you. Do, 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 do. I would be playing some Frank Sinatra, but usually when I paint, I like to listen to Frank Sinatra. Fly me to the moon. You got me under your skin. You know, I like to play that, but I don't want to hit many copyrights. I do like Frankie. Frankie's music is freaking amazing. We get the corners. That's what I like to do. I start off with my corners. My corners are really good. why I did the over tape because I have to paint the screen this way because I have a bookcase in my path. And our corner is nice and well. Whee! Yeah! It really doesn't make a difference how you paint the screen up, down, side, to side. It doesn't make a difference. I'm going to start that. Oh, I didn't start that dumb nonsense. Goose screen. Because you had to put in perfect application on the rotor. And as the paint starts to dry, it gets lighter and lighter and lighter. you guys are at ah see the screen come to life slowly but surely it comes to life once it dries boom Bam. corners tilt it just a little bit over like this when I paint the corners that way I'll nail my wall at the same time and I'm doing the thing I have to paint the wall too so I'm just do a little tray straight down the side there we go I have to be careful on this one can't go too far over I don't want to make the mistake and hit my wall I have to paint that too Chicken George. Hold up a minute. It's funny, I go through all this, paint the entire one, and boom at the side of the wall. What the freak? There we 
There you go. That's better. Thank you. Let's be careful. Okay, careful, 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 careful. And just nail, literally, what I just said, be careful, but don't hit the side of your wall. I literally just hit the side of my wall just a few minutes ago. Well, that's not going to be the way. All right, there we go. All right. Let's put a little more paint on here. I'm probably not going to keep this projector. I, mean, I already ordered a new lamp for it, but I'm probably going to go with... I'm going to get another ViewSonic Ultra no, Short Door Projector. I need a ViewSonic Short Door Projector. That's what I need. Or is that the paint? It's this way because, like I said, I have the bookcase in the way. You don't have to do it twice, but I usually go over it twice just in case if I miss any spots. I usually do another coat over top just in case if I miss anything. And I do the once over those edges again too. Let's go back and let's see what you guys are seeing on your end. Yep, there you go. That's the reason why. We're having fun here. So how many of y'all from Philadelphia? Who's here from Philadelphia? Nobody? Right, what up? Do, do, do. Do, 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 I carry these in my pen. When I was in school, I remember we used to sing in elementary school. I went to Short Edge, Delaware. I actually grew up in, in Delaware. A lot of people don't realize I grew up in Delaware. Okay. I remember in school we used to scream, sing, I am a bunny with a bushy tail. I kiss some more blue. They are so lovely and so are you. Yeah. It's a shame you can't go back to being a kid again. I don't really think what it was like as a kid. I went to Disney World. I am pretty much with a mate. I do plan to go back to Disney World. I'm going to go real quick. A little better. Now, I will go over this again, due to the fact that this particular wall, thank goodness, has a particular coating on it. I guess it's for like when kids, when they basically smear stuff all over your wall, you can just come and just wipe it off. Uh, it's what, that's the coating that's on here. But I just gotta do a little coat over top of it. That's it. That's me knocking over toys. I'm telling you, this right here, I bought this roller set right here. This is the best freaking 
roller set I have bought so far. It didn't cost me much. It was like 10 bucks. Best one I bought so far. Has a nice smooth glide to it. Rip roller set. Nice smooth glide to it. So, what I like to do is I like to go in. I like to rehit the areas. Make sure I got that frog tape nice and soaked with that paint so I can get that nice laser cut edge. That's what I want. And there's the paint. One thing I like about it, there's no fumes. It's not strong. There's no overpowering fumes. I'm painting this right now in my room with the window shut and the heat on. No fumes at all. And keep in mind, I have freaking respiratory issues. So, you know, about this would be me. But very easy to paint. So we'll let it dry. And then I'll be coming back in and doing some gaming off of it. Spot on this. Nope. Yeah, it's part of the screen. All right, so that's all done and well. It's pretty much it. Um, very easy to do, very easy to put together, whatever, paint, blah, blah, blah. Very easy to do. As you can see, it took me no time at all to paint this. So this is going to take a bit to dry. I'm going to throw a fan up in here and let this dry. I'll be back on for part two because usually we do two of these. So we'll do part two when it's green, it's all dried and done. We're going to peel the tape off. You get a chance to watch the paid tape off. Some of you like to see the tape peeled off the screen. Maybe I'll talk a little soft and slow like this is how we peel off the tape. <laughs> I'm messing with you. All right. So anyway, so let's let it get this dried up and done. And then we'll come back and then uh, we'll fire up. We got the Sony projector. We got some other projectors we'll play around here with. And it will be good to go. Let me show you what's going on downstairs. So let's leave this area right here. And I'll show you what's going on downstairs. All right, like I said, paint is still wet. When paint's wet, it's very shiny. It's the stuff I had to move out of my um, my area. These are projectors I was thinking about going with. I think we're going to do in the ultra short row. So let's pop downstairs and let's see what we're going to be doing at 8 o'clock. Because at 8 o'clock, we got something set up to do. <sighs> Did my package just come in? Oh, man. All right, we'll have to wait for those. All right, so what's next? What's next? What's next? Well, let me show you what's next. All right, now I told you we we're going to make multiple different forms of gray screen paint. I'm going to need these rollers for that demonstration. Let's take these downstairs with us right here. Okay. Let's go downstairs. Now, it may get a little gritty down here because it's the basement. Keep my Wi-Fi down here as polar dice. Okay. So, I'm going to sit you right here for a minute. I got some things out that you're not supposed to see. All right, so you just sit right there on that washing machine. I know my washing machine's dirty. Don't judge me. Stay right there, okay? I'll be right back. Gotta put away a few things, people. Some things I left out, which I was not supposed to leave out, which I did leave out. Which I can't lie. You just gave me a piece of... How's it done? How's it made? Blah, 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 blah. All right, so I'm going to show you a few things I'm going to be working on today. Trust me, you might want to stick around for this one. You can catch one, find out later on. It's up to you and how you want to do it, and how you do it, why you do it. Bye-bye. All right. The man is speaking nothing but gibberish. I understand what he's saying. All right. Get some things out of the way first. Make sure you're not supposed to see. Mm. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. All right. Now I can pick you up and bring you over here. You've done some previous work today. Can't allow you to see that, what I have over there. All right. Let's go over to the table real quick. I got paint all over my freaking hands. I'm trying to figure Oh, I got paper towels over here. Hold on. I'll be right back. Grab some paper towels real quick. Got paint to mess up. I can't pick up my phone. My phone's already messed up as it is. Can't get any more paint on my phone. That's funny. Me and my wife both got the plus 10 and my phone is more jacked up than hers. I got paint on my phone. I sprayed my screen by accident. My screen is pretty jacked up. I think I cracked, yeah, I cracked the back end of my screen. When I first got it, I had my Thanos cup on the floor and I wanted to freaking get up and my charger was in and I snagged it and it came down and hit the Thanos cuff and shattered the back of my screen and I'm like these things were glass. I didn't know the glass like that all right so this is what we're going to be doing next next demonstration where the heck is my freaking surface surface is right over here this is the surface we're going to paint so we're going to do several forms of screen paint mixes to see if they all react the same way that's the surface I got a coat over. I got to prime that to get that ready let me show you what we got up here to play with today so we got some of this I picked this up today Christmas glitter so you can see what it looks like. So that way nothing's hidden from you. This is the Christmas glitter right here. 
The fact that literally is Christmas glitter. All right, we've got some two different forms of gray paint. Right there. And then over here we have this one. This is just primer, but it has a good look to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically make screen paint. We're gonna make gray screen paint. I don't like gray screen paint. I don't like it all because we're watching this out in the face. But I guarantee you that all of it does the exact same thing. Now, if anyone feels that their product may be different than what we have up here, feel free to do the exact same demonstrations, which we're gonna do, which is a star field demonstration, contrast, black contrast, black contrast, and more black contrast. So this is a silver kind of paint. You get this over at Lowe's. This is called gravity. What's it called? Satin gravity, satin gravity, okay? You got some black paint because you gotta be able to add some tone to it. You need tone to it. That's how they make it darker. That's how they make it lighter. If you're going to go down that road and paint your screen with a light gray screen paint, then I will show you how to make it. And I will show you why you shouldn't do it. So we're going to show you against black technology. We're going to show you against some of the high-end screens over here. What is the difference between cheap screen paint and a Cinema Grade 5D? We got them all over here. Tons of samples, tons of samples, tons of samples, tons of samples. We want to see what's the difference between that and the cheap screen paint. And then we're going to do demonstrations of our technology next to this. See, this was a demonstration that was supposed to be done, but we never got the merchandise. So what we're going to do is we make our own. And keep in mind, if anyone out there is feel that this is different than what we're showing on the failure of these great screens, uh, feel free to do the exact same demonstration we just did. Now, anyone who doesn't do the exact same demonstration, then their product is basically what we're saying. It is what it is. Cheap paint. All right. Um... I'm going to be back on later on. It's still Saturday for me. I'm going to get myself a bowl of cereal and watch some cartoons. You know my favorite cartoons are? And I will tell you right now, you can tease me if you want. I don't care. I like Unikitty. That's my favorite. I like Craig in the Creek. That is my all-time favorite. Team Titans. That's one of mine right there. I can talk about some old cartoons from back in the day, but some of y'all are probably not even young enough to remember. Anybody remember Felix the Cat? Marine Boy? Ultraman? Any of them? What about Johnny Quest? Scooby-Doo. I know you're familiar with Scooby-Doo. Or that Tom and Jerry. Bugs Bunny. I remember Bugs Bunny was in black and white. Yeah, that's old. Listen, I'm not that old. morning cartoons were all freaking from Japan. When you had All Star Blazers, The Mighty Hercules. Uh, what's a couple, a couple they had on there? Under, uh, underdog. Grew with Underdog. Yeah, all those. That's the cartoons I grew up with when I was a kid. Ah, man, that's when cartoons were cartoons, man. Something they got today is okay, but... That's yes, basically about it. All right, so we chat a lot. We'll come back in when the screen's nice and dry. Uh, and then um, we'll do some uh, demonstrations off that giant screen upstairs. And then we'll come down later on and we'll mix up the screen paint mixes. I'm going to do it right on camera so you can see it. I'm going to have to do it upstairs in the kitchen. I'm just going to make sure I get something cover up everything up because uh, if I spill anything in that kitchen, it's my behind. So we have to do it in the kitchen because Wi-Fi works better there than down in the basement. We'll go pull the ice down there easily. And we're going to show you these demonstrations, no matter how many combinations of mixes that we make, every last one of those screens are going to react the same way. There are. Gray screens just cannot pull contrast. I mean, they pull white levels, they do. They have, they pull amazing white levels. But white levels next to white screen, no. Only a white screen is going to be to produce a natural white level, white level color because its screen technically is white. But we'll show you on my end, with all different mixes that we make. And feel free, if you can't remember which ones they are, I will write down each one of them and I will post them in the comment section so you can make it for yourself. Now, you gotta be thinking that I would have to be pretty crazy to basically make a light gray screen paint right there on camera in front of my black technology. That's how much confidence I have in my product. That I'll make you paint for you right in front of you and show you exactly why you don't wanna mess with this stuff. Same thing like we did the black paint versus our technology and showing that if you paint your screen with black paint, you're going to pull contrast, but your white levels are going to be extremely nasty. So that's what's going to happen. All right. Um, got to get out of here. Got much to do. I'll be back on later on, probably around eight or nine. And then I will go from there. I'm going to leave the screen upstairs wrapped in plastic, still on tape so that we can do the peel off. When I come back on, I just got to get some, some time to just chill and get something to eat. And I got to get ready for these other packages that are coming in right now because I got to get containers ready because that sale has been popping pretty good. Like I said, I would take advantage of it while it's there because I already told you and explained to you what's going to happen once the contract is officially signed. And when that first order pops over, it means that we may we may pass code the, the website. 
which means that website will actually have an official code to it or passcode. Anyone can get access to the website will be distributors. That's it. And I don't really have a choice when it comes to this, to tell you the truth. It isn't something like I'm doing on purpose. I don't have a choice. It's business. So we have to understand this is a company that's going to be asking for us for like maybe about 30, 40, 50, 60, maybe 100, maybe 200, maybe 500 gallons of paint from us. And when they do an installment, keep in mind, our labels are bared on every last one of those containers. Now, if you're watching a company do an installment, you look at the, um, the labels, you're thinking, well, I can just track down the company's name. We're not hard to find because there's YouTube videos of us everywhere. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and so forth. So chances are they will actually hit my site. And if they hit my site and they buy from me, that means basically they can override any contract that we sign because they can go around my people and just go right into the website and buy. We don't want that. We want to give our contract distributors the confidence that we are going to be backing them 100 percent and by doing that first priority would be is to knock out the website well not knock it out it'll be password coded so why the, why the paint's there i say take advantage of it because like i said this is going to happen it's going to go through i mean i have contracts in the past but this one is definitely going to go through and the thing about it is I'm not going to be able to put up another site with prices on it. There can be no prices on the site. No one can see it. So I have to ask some questions. So a few questions I have to ask where, where my customers can get the paint from. See, that's the question I have to ask. So I am going to ask and find out um, for my customers, because I have customers that have to redirect. Uh, are they going to build a website for customers to be directed to? Because I don't want it to be all installments for companies. Now, I don't want it to be an all company product. All right. Um, <laughs> this is about to happen in a few minutes. All right. I got to go. I'm hungry. Got to go eat. I'm going to turn on the projector and watch my cartoons. Y'all have a blessed day and blessed night, depending on where you're at in the world. Uh, we're going to have a few more promotional packages coming up. Um, we'll probably have one for the summertime, too. I'm going to try to get a few in there before, before everything becomes official. So that's what I'm trying to make it fair so everybody can actually get their hands on the product all right all right with that being said i gotta go and god bless